Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, January 15, 2020. I have Brendan from Paw Pride Nation and Kelly, who wrote a great paper on Paw Pride here today. Um, so she'll share that with you in a minute. But first, let's cover our basics. Brendan, what's for lunch today? A hot dog and ham and cheese sub. All right, and birthdays today? Michael Gorb and Miss Anderson's class. Paxton? Paxton Robinson and Miss Anderson's class. All right, and then we have some half birthdays. Ross Oyer and Miss Westerman's class. Lillian Munger and Miss Rowney's class. Carmen Van Kunis, yeah. And Miss Willis's class. And Carter Off. Augustine, I think is his last name. And Miss Anderson's class. All right, happy birthday, everyone, and happy half birthday as well. Don't forget to go to the office to get your birthday pencil. All right, Paw Pride slips. Let's do, you want to do Lower L first? Sure. Okay. Emerson and Miss B's class. Alex and Miss B's class. And Lisa and Miss B's class. Well, way to rock it out, Miss B's class. All right, and? Zoe from Miss Lupine's class. Evan from Miss Lupine's class. And Marta from Miss Lapine's class. And Mrs. Lapine's class. You guys are all rocking it out with Paul Pride. Way to go. Well, Kelly has written a fantastic paper on Paul Pride. And um, I know we've had a couple little things here and there lately. So I'm going to let Kelly go ahead and read her paper on Paul Pride. And I want you all to listen carefully to some of the examples she gives and how to show Paul Pride. So, Kelly, go ahead and take it away. Jerry knows elementary school has many important school rules. Staff and students live up, live up to their rules and don't ever change them. The school rules include be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and do your best. Read more to find out what these school rules, rules mean. Be safe. This rule is for every student's safety. For example, students should swing on the swings appropriately. Standing up or spinning could end with children being hurt. No running in the halls. There could be water on the ground and people could slip or run into each other. One person on the slide at a time. If more than one person were on the slide at a time, people would slip, slip off the edge and get hurt. If students do not follow these rules, the kids would have injuries. Be respectful. This leads up to a very respectful child in and out of school. Some examples of this are, don't talk over the teacher. It would be hard for the whole class to hear and learn. Be respectful to others. Consider others' ideas and talk politely. Don't talk in the hallway. Students could be testing, and people who are talking would disturb them. These examples all explain what a respectful student looks and sounds like. Be responsible. This leads up to a very responsible child in and out of school. Some examples of this are clean up after yourself. At lunch, pick up all your trash. Put materials back where you found them. If you are borrowing a pencil, return it to the person lending it to you, and don't just leave it lying there. Don't throw objects around. Throwing papers around makes a big mess and might be disturbing to other students. Without all these rules, the school would be out of control and it would be hard for students to concentrate and learn. All these rules help staff and stu students become safe, respectful, and responsible and do their best through life amazing I love it I'm gonna give you a nice round of applause um, that's just fantastic and I think it's a good reminder to all the students about giving showing examples and how to be safe responsible respectful and doing our best right yeah so keep in mind I hope you heard that maybe your teachers will play it again as a nice reminder um, but Kelly you did a great job with that paper I hope mrs. Lapine gave you an A plus on it <laughs> um, all right, I think that's it for today. So, what kind of day do we want them to have today, you guys? A wacky Wednesday, and please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.